Welcome into our weekly Five Things to Watch edition of Beyond the Arc here on High School Cube News. Brian Shimino with you with Michael O'Brien of the Chicago Sun-Times. And let's jump into it right away. Morgan Park had a big game. They lost against Simeon this past Sunday, but the pressure does not stop. They got a big one against Bogan on Thursday. It's going to be bright lights. Marcus Lovett versus Luan Pipkins. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Morgan Park's tiny little gym. Luan Pipkins, sick of hearing about Marcus Lovett. <laughs> Marcus Lovett ready to put on a show. It's going to be really great. Most people have Bogan ranked ahead of Morgan Park. I have had Morgan Park ahead of Bogan so all year. Really no good evidence to why that should be, especially since Morgan Park's two and two. I just kind of feel that way. They better prove it on Thursday. We're going to find out. That's going to be a ton of fun. And the number two thing to watch, a big one in the Southwest Suburban Prairie Conference. Friday night, number 18, Plainfield North, led by Trevor Stump, head into Wofford. They'll be on the road against Plainfield East, obviously led by Aaron Jordan, head into Illinois. It's not the Battle of Vincennes, it's the Battle of Plainfield, and it's going to be that good. You know, with Trevor Stump, one of the best scorers in the entire state. Forget about where he's going to college. He's an amazing high school basketball player. He just lights it up against Aaron Jordan, who everybody knows, the Illinois guy. You know, the size that Plainfield East has is going to be a big, big problem for Plainfield North. But, you know, Plainfield North is ranked, but they're not the one that's getting the hype. Plainfield East has Aaron Jordan. Plainfield East had the Chicago Elite Classic invite. So expect Plainfield North to have a lot to prove. If they can get a big win here and kind of take them into Pontiac in the next couple weeks, it could really send them on a roll. This is definitely going to be a great game to watch. The number three thing to watch, nobody's talking about the Admirals from Farragut. That can change this Wednesday as they host Whitney Young. Farragut's licking their chops. All these years, they've had Jalil Okafor beating them. Farragut believes they are one of the elite public league programs. They cannot wait for Young to show up in their gym this week. It's going to be interesting. Joshua Adams is a really, really solid guard for Farragut. They're a good team overall. They have some nice wins, a couple losses, but they're not bad losses. They've only lost to good teams. For a young team that's still figuring itself out and can't hit free throws, this is going to be a really tough matchup. Number four thing to watch, ESPN will have their eyes on this city, a nationally televised game, Simeon versus St. Rita. Yeah, everybody thought Simeon was unbeatable after the Chicago League Classic. Morgan Park made them look beatable. You know, we saw Simeon still play very well, but they didn't seem like the juggernaut everybody expected them to be necessarily. St. Rita, still kind of a mess. Miles Carter was out in the game they beat St. Joseph, but that was a nice win for St. Rita. Nobody's really jumped on the St. Rita bandwagon yet. If they can make it a game with Simeon, keep it tight. It's going to be on ESPN2. Everybody's going to be watching. That It's going to go a long way for St. Rita. Charles Matthews needs to have his DJ Williams <laughs> type performance. He needs to prove it. He needs to show out on the big, big stage on ESPN2. It's going to be a fun game to watch. And finally, your number five thing to watch. Holiday tournaments tipping off in the next week. Look up north at Jacobs. A lot going on on Saturday. I mean, why drive all the way up to Jacobs? We've got a lot of good reasons. If you look at the middle of the day on the Jacobs tournament, you've got Larkin against Prairie Ridge, where you can see Christian Negren, who's definitely worth it, and a Larkin team that's playing better than I think a lot of people thought. Right after that is Barrington against South Elgin. That's Rapolis Ivanowskis. We wrote about him in the Sun-Times on Friday. He scored 31 points against Palatine. A lot of people think he's the number two junior in the whole state, so he's definitely worth seeing. And then right after that, a new name to watch. It's Huntley against Marion Central. Don't know if you noticed, but Adam Pischke scored 30 points against Marion Catholic on Friday. I talked to some people about him. Apparently he's a really exciting player to watch. So he's one. I'm going to go check that out. We can talk a little bit more about him next week. And then to wrap it all up, Jacobs and Bartlett. Jacobs has a lot of nice wins. They look like a solid team. And Bartlett just keeps beating people. They beat West Aurora. They beat Neuqua Valley. It's time to take notice of them. They, ha they have a loss to Glenbard East that isn't the best. That's why they're not in the rankings. But th it's definitely time to stand up and take notice of Bartlett. So it's really four games in a row with something to watch. It should be a good afternoon on Saturday at Jacobs. And that is your weekly five things to watch here on High School Cube News. Check back next week. Mike and I will be back as we preview three big holiday tournaments. We're talking about Pontiac, Proviso West, and the McDipper. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can watch Beth Long on her weekly MVP segment. Talk with Aaron Jordan from Plainfield East, obviously heading to Illinois. For Michael O'Brien, I'm Brian Shimino. We'll see you next week.